Hello there everyone, this is Colin from Colin's Pizza, and today I have another slice of life for you. And um, I've been thinking about it, and um, we're going to, no, not we, um, <laughs> I'm going to talk about escapism. And the, the, I, first, I was thinking about escapism a few days ago, because I was doing a art assignment for my school, and he was talk, the thing was, choose representative art, or choose abstract art. And to me, I, th I like, which one do you prefer? And I chose representative because when I think of representative art, I think of um, like wanting to go to that, like I want to be real, like to escape to it. And so I put that like in my reasoning because when you think of abstract art, it's like all just like shapes and all weird, but it's cool and it shows someone else's point of view and like the, how they see the world. But I, I just like real things. So I have this nice painting. I took a picture. I put it on my TV. Right here, hopefully you can focus a bit. It's a bit weird because, you know, it's not the whole thing. But, oh, don't focus on me. Focus on TV. There you go. Yeah. It's a painting of a lake in a forest, and it just looks great. I have it in my other room. I love it. And it's just so real. And escapism, I sort of wrote in that I, would, I always I look at it, and I always want to escape to it. I, always, I want to go to that lake. I want to be in that forest. I want to escape to it. And other great forms of escapism, which I have realize more of this past week is tv shows and movies whenever i go to see a movie i always like i get in there and like i always i try to let the stress of the world go away from me to relax and be in the movie be in that world and this past week i've watched a new show called my hero academia that my friend nathaniel told me to watch and after getting into it i didn't want to stop i was sucked into that world i escaped into it and as soon as I was as I was coming to the end of the show, because I binge watched basically the entire the entirety of the show in under three days, so I, as soon as I was getting to the end of it, I realized that I would have to go back to my normal lifestyle of school and work and stuff, and like that. Just thinking about that was stressful. So escapism again, I was able to escape from this nice show about superheroes and all of that amazing things. But then the sad thing about escapism is that you you have to leave that and go back to reality. And then that also made me think again of the ending of Ready Player One, where James Halliday, the creator of the Oasis, the guy, the guy who made this awesome video game that lets you escape the world, tells the main character, about like spoilers, tells the main character, you know, the best thing in this world is reality. You know, sure, you can play a video game and like escape to that video game, for as long as you want, but you're never going to be able to, you will never actually escape what's there in front of you, and what's there in front of you is the best thing you're going to get, which is reality. And just yesterday, I was watching Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban, Go to Fire, in theaters, and it was fantastic. I didn't want it to end while well, I, was, I was tired, but I just wanted to sit there and have no care in the world whatsoever, and I had that for like six hours, because they're both like two and a half hour movies. So yeah, it was a long time, and I watched them back to back. I escaped the world and into those two movies. So if you're ever going to go binge watch a TV show or on Netflix or on Hulu, just remember that you're going to have to get out of that once it's over. And I, I always remember, um, I think it was a Netflix ad, where it's like, what are you going to do after you watch this show? Like, binge depression or something? Like... The binge void, like the void between one binge watch and another binge watch. It's like, how are you going to fill that void? Get Netflix. And you can always view binge watching. So some advice. Don't get in the habit of binge watching a lot at once. Binge watch at least like once every few months or so. So you're not always away from reality. Stay, stay in, in life, you know. Don't get too caught up or too blinded by the amazing things that aren't real, such as TV shows or movies. Like, sure, like they may look real, but like you know, they're just all fun. And so it is always nice to escape those every once in a while. So do that. Always remember that when you're doing that, you're you're going somewhere else. It's gonna be great. And now <clears throat> I have to go watch more of my Hero Academia. I'm just stuck on it. You know, it's such a great show. You guys should all watch it. You know, this video is not about escapism. This video is about My Hero Academia. What a great show. And thanks a lot, Nathaniel, for getting me hooked on it. 
Um, escapism. How many times have I said that? I don't know. I'm just swiveling in my chair now, rambling on. And this is this is why you're watching this. This is the same thing as last week. And also, I lied. Last time I joked about Transformers. That's never going to happen. I'm never going to talk about Transformers. Like, come on. Michael Bay, stop. Stop. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to grab a slice of Collins pizza. And just, 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 just click off the video. Goodbye.